guys, following on from yesterday's video where we covered the Hussar, the first horse riding unit with uh, Horseman on his back, whatever you want to call him. Today we're going to be covering the other new unit from last week, which is the Spartamoria. So as you can see, this guy here is looking rather smart with his uh, shiny little uh, armor on. Big old long spear and whatnot. And anyway, we're going to try him out in a similar format to what we did in yesterday's battle. So we're going to test him out against some similar value uh, units. And then we're going to test him out against the big guns of the game. And we're going to say they get on. So let's crack on with our first fight against the Cape Buffalo. Right, fight number one, guys. We've got the Spartan Warriors versus the Cape Buffalo here. These guys are exactly like for like for value. Both $14. So as you can see here, team two is the Cape Buffalo, 280. Spartan Warriors, team one, 280. Let's get underway and see how the Spartan Warriors fare against these guys. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button as well if you've not already done that. Please do. It would be good to have you on board in my tribe. So please do do that. I have to say, Cape Buffalo are running... Oh, I don't know. Initially, Spartans did quite well. I can't tell he's going to win this, actually. I thought, I thought it was going to be Buffalo. I still think it's going to be Buffalo. They look like they've got the numbers on the um, on the Spartans. They have definitely now. Oh, they are destroying them. Well, pretty pretty surprised that was quite so one-sided. I thought he might have done better than that. I guess they got a few initial kills off, off the Spears, but after that, too much power from the Buffaloes. Pretty dominating display from them, though. So there we go. Technically, they're not as good as them. On to the second battle, which is the Green Anaconda. So here we go, battle number two. Again, 20 of the uh, Spartan Warriors against 19 of the Anacondas. So 285 for the Anacondas, 280 for the Spartan Warriors. Can they fare any better against these guys? Who knows the Anacondas? They're a weird, they're a weird unit. I would suggest the Anacondas are going to probably win this one. Oh, wow. So, so far, Spartan Warriors not looking too great. I mean, they're going down pretty quick. Oh, he has sent him in the air. He's definitely going to die for damage. He's gone. I say that, I say that, but there's quite a lot of anacondas that look like they're dead. This might be, this might be closer than the last one. I said that last time, though, and then obviously the uh, buffaloes came good. Who is still alive here? I don't know if it'd be a great deal of Spartan Warriors left. I think there's three left. There are definitely more anacondas left. He's now going to die from fall damage. His helmet's fallen off. Maybe even his head. I don't know. Is it one v one? And there's still four or five of them left. Wow, these guys have been wrecked again. So anacondas against them, pretty poor again. So there we go, two for two against the uh, against the Spartan Warriors so far. On to battle number three, the Polar Bears. Right, battle number three here. So we've got the Polar Bears this time taking them on. Uh, their value, as per the Anacondas, also 285. So slightly over the value of the Spartan by five dollars, but not a lot, not a lot in it. These guys, in theory, I think will be super similar to the Cape Buffalo in their strength and whatnot. But let's see how this one goes down. They look, the Polar Bears looking strong off of, again. Are they going to be the same kind of Ram Raiders as the Buffalo? Well, let's see. It looks like the polar bears are dying really quickly, which makes not a lot of sense when they're a dollar more than the Cape Buffalo. Don't really understand that. They must have less. They must have less um, less health because they've absolutely just. Did any of the Spartans even die? Did we lose any Spartans in this battle? One, two. That makes no sense. They're a, they're a unit that are one dollar more than the Cape Buffaloes, which annihilated them, and yet they've absolutely annihilated the polar bears. This is very confusing, but there we go. They're very good against polar bears. There we go. On to battle number four, the Deinonychus. Everyone loves a Deinonychus battle. Here we go. So battle number four, the Deinonychus. We've not had these on the channel for a long while. It's good to see Deinonychus back. Used to be one of those op units on the game. Now, not so much. Not so much so seemingly. But anyway, as you can see, we've got 18 of these at 288 compared to the 280 value of the Spartans. Can the Spartans take these down? Do you know what? After the, after the Cape Buffalo's hammering of them and then the polar bears defeat, I've no idea anymore. These guys are an extra dollar in value. Let's see if the spears can kill anybody. Or will the jumpiness of the Dynamicus just be too much for them? Let's see. This one's harder to call right now. I think the Dynamicus are on top. There are definitely more Spartans down than Dynamicus at the moment. There's a little group of Spartans still fighting away here, but every time the Dynamicus dives in, they get, they're taking somebody out. We've got two or three Spartans left tops. Uh oh. I think the Spartans are going to go down here. One left over here. This guy's got four take on. Good luck, dude. You're going to need it, I think. He's doing a good job, to be fair. Oh, until that guy absolutely wrecked him with a dive on top of him. There's a lot of wriggly bodies over here. This is disgusting. Look at this. There's a lot of wounded men on the battlefield here. Just imagine the oh, groans of these guys. Oh, there's lots of them wriggling and jiggling. I'm not keen on that at all. Anyway, don't look win here. I mean, these Spartans are very unpredictable as to how they're going to do battles by, battles by battle here. Battle number five coming up, Teutonic Knights. So we got a like for like against the human unit. Here we go. 
Right, so here we go, the first human versus human battle. So this is where it really starts to get interesting as to how they're going to fare. So as you can see, the Teutonic Knights at the bottom here, $2 less than them. So we've got 20 against Spartan Warriors, 24 of these guys. So their value is $8 more, but it's close enough, so it's fine. Anyway, let's see how these guys fare. I'm intrigued to see how much, whether the Spartan Warriors are a lot stronger or not. Because against the Romanuses, the Spartan Warriors destroy the Romanuses. But how will they do against the Teutonic Knights? That's the question. Bearing in mind, they are $2 less. It appears that the Teutonic Knights are incredibly powerful in comparison. I mean, they are getting absolutely battered here. And yet they're cheaper. I don't understand. I really don't understand. Do you know what? We're going to play this again with the same numbers on each team despite the value difference. And we're going to see if they are actually stronger despite being cheaper. This is a very weird one. Right, here we go. A second test for these ones because I'm a bit confused. So we've now got 20 on each team. So now, in theory, Teutonic Knights are now $40 less value so again if you're looking for a cheap team are Teutonic Knights a better bet than the Spartan Warriors let's find out if Teutonic Knights beat them now the value the values on this game are all kinds of wrong this is literally the same setup of both teams so surely this should mean in theory Spartan Warriors should win but let's see if it, if it ends up that way okay this time it's gonna okay very much so very I absolutely smashed them this time okay so like for like on numbers, they absolutely destroy them. That's really weird. I'm still surprised Teutonic Knights like won by quite so much first time around. But there we go. Pound for pound, dollar for dollar. They're still the better unit of the Spartan Warriors. So we are on to fight number six. So this one is the Pachycephalosaurus. So again, these ones are $12. Again, this is the last of the of the, of the kind of like the fights of those with comparable values. Intriguing one, this one, because they're pretty weak. But again, with that many, with the larger numbers, will, they, will it favour them or not? Let's find out. Can the Spartan Warriors take these guys down? We all know Pachycephalosaurus haven't got, the, haven't got a great deal of health. But their constant kind of headbutting and attacking is going to probably cause the Spartan dishes, I think. Saying that, a lot of, a lot of them, Pachycephalosaurus have gone down over the far side. But I think there's going to be there's too many of them alive still for this the Spartan group to deal with them, I think. You never know. If they get tangled on other, on other dinosaurs, you never know. There's a small chance, I would say. Oh, do you know what? They're coming back here. I thought they were going to lose this. But suddenly, the old Spartan warriors, this is pretty close, you know. They're still. This is pretty close. It's three versus three. That guy's going to surely die. He's taking them all on. He needs to kill one of these guys on his own. He's taking one down. He's taking two down. Oh, he nearly killed all three. And now there's, these guys are all stuck on people. Come on, Pachycephalosaurus. Wade your way through your dead, your dead friends. Probably to your death now. Oh, a few swords to the side. And the Spartan Warriors are taken down the Pachycephalosaurus. So there we go. Another $12 unit. But this time with 24, they've beaten them. As opposed to the Teutonic Knights where, where there was 24 of them, they lost. Right, on to the big guns of ARBs now. Here we go, the bigger battles are coming. Right, so here we go, Battle of the Big Guns. So this is the fifth most valuable unit in the game, the Spinosaurus. As you can see, their value is 405. Three of them. We've got 29 of the Spartan Warriors value at 406, so $1 in it, so pretty much neck and neck. Let's see what the Spinos can do. The Spinos did pretty badly yesterday against the Hussars, remember. They got destroyed pretty quick. Will they do any better against these guys who aren't on, who are not on horseback? They're probably a bit slower and easy to pick off. Easy, pretty easy to grab as well and chuck around. Or well, I was saying that we've got spiners done, one spiner's done already. I don't think the spiners have got particularly great health in comparison to some of the other B units though either. Is that two of them down? They're all down. Well, we know that they're, you know, that the larger numbers tend to work well with people, but that's that's a pretty poor performance from spiners. I'm I'm kind of expecting a little bit better from them to be honest. Not a great start. Let's give the T Rex a go. Okay. Battle number eight here. So we have got the T-Rexes valued at 420 versus the Spartans at 420. So this is nice. 30 Spartans versus three T-Rexes. I kind of feel like the T-Rexes lost yesterday against the Hussars. I kind of feel like, I don't know. I feel like they might they might have more of a chance against these. They could rip into them pretty quick. If they, there we go. They chuck people out quickly. If they can just kill off a, quite a large chunk of these early, I think they've got a chance. They've taken quite a few out pretty quick. Oh, some fall damage there from one of the, the T-Rexes. Oh, wow. They're destroying these really quick as well. In fact, the T-Rexes, these T-Rexes are not doing much better than the Spinos. Did they even do worse than the Spinos there? That felt like they, they got, they, it felt like they died a lot quicker. We'll confirm that. I'm going to go and time these two when I record this and I'll confirm, I'll confirm just which one was quicker. Because I'm intrigued. I think the T-Rexes died sooner. Crazy stuff. So the official time check confirmed the Spinosaurus actually lasted a full two seconds longer than the T-Rex. That's pretty poor from the T-Rex there. That's shocking. Good work, Spinos, though, although you still lost. Right, so we've got 35, quite a lot, of Spartan Warriors versus three Gorehammers. Now, we all know that the Gorehammers probably won't win this one, but it's interesting to see if they've got any chance at all. Not really the strength of the Gorehammers is to take on large numbers of people. But I think they're quite a lot there in one go. If they can get a couple more hits, and you never know. But once they can't swing their hammers or throw their hammers again, they're a bit more screwed. 
you know what? I think this guy's done as I think this guy's done as well as the T-Rex, to be honest. I think he's, they've killed more people. I think they've probably killed as many as the Spino and the T-Rex in this instance, which isn't always the case. But in this battle, they did all right. They, they fared reasonably well, I think. Yesterday, the Goros were the only big unit that managed to win against large numbers of people because they threw the Hussars everywhere. It was a great fight. If you've not seen it, go and watch that Hussar video. That was a good battle. They were chucking horses around and everything. It was superb. Let's see if they can take down 35 of these, 36 even, of these bad boys. Let's see. What have the Goros got in them? Can they throw these guys around as well? Is it going to be throwing practice? Let's see. Oh, wow. He has... He'll be flying until this battle's over. Wow, that was a big throw. These guys are literally hurling everybody about. Is that one down? No. Goro's has got too much strength. Oh, I think Goro just hit Goro then. And again. What's he doing? This Goro is fighting him. Is oh, maybe not. Wow, these guys are a lot stronger. Bearing in mind these guys are four these guys are fourteen uh fifteen dollars. What are they? Fourteen dollars? Fourteen dollars compared to the twenty dollars of the Hussars who lost this battle. These guys are putting up a lot more of a fight. They've killed two of them off, which is not something that happened yesterday. They're going to lose again, but these guys put up a hell of a fight. They, put, they took two of them out, which is a lot better than the um, the $20 Hussars. So, you know, $40 unit against these guys did a lot better. A lot better value for money taking on the Gors, the Agoros, than the Hussars were. Interesting. They still lost, though. Good work. Good work, Goros. You're still one of the beasts, if not the biggest beast on this game. Always will be. Love the Goro. One final battle, guys. Right, so here we go. We've got 56. 56 Spartan Warriors versus these three guys. Values are the same. Now... Again, Hydras, I'm still not really sure about. They might, they might be the strongest unit in the game. I'm not, still not really convinced by them. I don't believe they're that good, personally. But there we go. Can they cause a surprise here? The answer is going to be an absolute no. But let's see how quickly these guys in their little, in their little groups look. Got them marching in their little formations of three stacks there, seemingly. How quickly can they take these guys down? One down already. Two down already. This is a matter of seconds. They are, they're pretty vicious. Their attacks must be pretty powerful. They've taken these guys down really quick. They're just not a Goro, are they? You know, once they go down, once they, once the, um, once the middle head's gone and they collapse to the floor, there's not a lot left to them here. And as you can see here, this guy is going to be dead shortly. He's fighting away as best he can. Again, much like yesterday, if we, if we can't get to the end, of this, if they can't take them out, we'll, we'll quick. Oh, this is going to finish all on one head now. All the units, and as you can see, we've barely got any, any Spartan Warrior dead at all. Not a fan of the Hydra. I don't think they're that great. I really don't. Anyway. That's the end of this little test. Another 11 odd tests for you there to test out how the uh, Spartan Warriors go. Let me know what you think of these kind of videos, guys. I'm intrigued. If you like them, but you want them done in a different way, if you think the battles don't really work, let me know. I'm intrigued. This is a new thing I'm trying. As I said, don't want to do it. I don't want to do unit versus every unit battles. I hate them. And they're just horrible. They're horrible. They're boring to do. I can't imagine they're that fun to watch, even though they seem to be popular. I don't like them. And I know a lot of other people don't as well. So let me know what you think. If you want something different doing, I'll do it. Just tell me how you'd like them to be tested and I will do it for you. But anyway, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button, hit that subscribe button as well. And I would love to welcome you aboard my wonderful little subscriber tribe. That's a good little phrase, isn't it? Subscriber tribe. And until next time, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Cheers all. Bye.